Hey team, got your Monday wad video here for uh, Tuesday, uh, for, for Monday, February the 2nd. And uh, this is something that is so important and it's also very timely just because of what I got going on right now. And I want to talk to you about what to do when your leader or a leader comes to town. The number one skill to build a successful business in AdvoCare is to get yourself and your people to impending events. There's no substitution mm. for live events. You know, the calls, the webinars are super important, but whenever there's an opportunity to get your, your people and yourself in front of a leader, mm. whether it's a corporate staff member or another cross-line leader or your upline leadership, then you've got to be excited about that. So I want to help you understand what's possible and what can really happen if you get behind this. Because specifically for me, I've got some trips coming up here the next week and a half. Uh, I will be at the Ron Reynolds event in Franklin, Tennessee on, was that Thursday the 5th? Friday the 6th, I will be doing a business opportunity meeting and training in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. I'll be doing a, a Saturday morning training on the 7th in Lebanon, Tennessee. Then on Monday the 9th, I will be doing a, a uh, mixer and a quick start training in Bayville, New Jersey. And then on Tuesday the 10th, I'll be doing a business opportunity meeting and uh, distributor training up in, where is that at? I just had somewhere outside of uh, Lawrence Harbor, but it's somewhere in, anyway, it's up, the, up there in North Jersey somewhere, a little west of Edison. I don't remember the name of the town. Branchburg, there we go. Branchburg, New Jersey, uh, up there working with Nikki Kumpel's crew. So many of you who are watching this, either you personally are going to be within driving distance of one or more of those events mm -hmm. and or you know people within driving distance, but even if you're not going to be at one of those specific events, here's what you need to do whenever you've got a leader coming to your area. Number one, get yourself in the room. Wherever it is, just make the decision that when there's a big event going on with a leader in your area, that you will be there. That is always how Beth and I operate. It's what do we need to do to get ourselves in the room? Number two, I want you to be excited about what's possible if you get not just yourself, but other people in the room. I want to take you back six years ago. Beth and I, we were uh, new distributors. We've been in AvidCare for right at one year's time, and we were barely silver. So we've been in AvidCare for about a year. We're averaging about $1,000 or so per month. And we got a call on, it was a uh, it was a Monday morning, maybe a Sunday night or Monday morning. We got, we got like a 48-hour heads up that sales vice president, Rick Loy, was going to be in the area and he was offering to come do a meeting for us in Jacksonville one night, one night only. Now, up to this point in our business, Beth and I had never got more than four people to show up to a mixer at our place. And like I said, we were only making about a thousand dollars a month. But here's the thing. We knew and understood the value of getting people in front of Rick Loy. So, you know, what we did. We worked our list and we worked our phones like never before because we were excited about our people getting to meet and hear from Rick Loy. Honestly, I was telling people, I don't even care if you're interested in AdvoCare because I knew the value that Rick Loy brought to the table. I said, you just have to be there to hear what he has to say. I was telling people, listen, I need you to be there just because I can't have a no-show when I got this big weight coming to town. I did whatever I needed to do to get people in the room. Like I said, before Rick Loy, never had more than four prospects in the room. At this meeting, we had 22 people in the room, and we only had about 36 or 48 hours to promote for that. Do you know what happened? That meeting was on a Tuesday pay period close. We finished that pay period with $110 of override. The very next two periods, we qualified and pinned three-star gold and earned a corporate incentive trip to uh, the, the British Virgin Islands, Peter Island. Everything in our business literally changed from that one meeting because we got people in the room. Now, if we can go from only getting four prospects in the room to 18, then so can you or 18 more, getting to 22, so can you. That is something that you're capable of doing. Now, here's another thing. Some of you, maybe, you've had people come out a few times. Maybe you've come out a few times and your AdvoCare business just isn't quite going the way that you want it to or hoped it would or whatever, and that's fine. So I want to tell you the story of James Rudder. James Rudder had been a distributor for a month or two. He, you know, James and Mariah are now Emerald Leaders in AdvoCare, but the first couple months, nothing was really happening in their business with AdvoCare, and I came to town to do a mixer and a training. And Brandon and Kathy, I knew that they needed to get James in the room and get him in front of me. Well, something clicked for James at that meeting. And they went from, they couldn't even qualify advisor to they started using the success system. They started doing what I taught them. 
And they looked up, and literally within six months, they were Ruby distributors. Or J James was. This was before before he had met Mariah. But in less than six months' time, he went from like advisor to Ruby because he saw it and got it at one meeting. Now, here's my question for you. What if this next meeting coming up, what if you were the person that saw it and got it? What if that new person you invited, what if it was them and they saw it and they got it and they were your next James Rudder? How awesome would that be for your business and for their lives, huh? So with that, here's the whole thing, word choice again. I want you to be excited. I want you to write out your list of everyone you know. Do not pre-qualify them. Don't say, oh, wow, well, Nancy, well, you know, they're not going to be coming or whatever. But I go back to that Rick Lloyd meeting again, and I said, I don't, I said, this is the first time he's ever come to do a meeting, and I don't know if he'll ever come again or not. You have got to be in the room. What do you need to do to get in the room? See, I went at it with a problem-solving mindset, and my excitement, my enthusiasm got people who were not even interested in the room, and some of them got it. It clicked for them. So I want to take you back to that again. What if you got one more person in the room? Who are the top five or ten people? Pull the friend card with them. Yeah, offer to pick them up. If you got to say, if it's an hour drive, say, hey, we'll carpool. I'll pick you up. I'll drive you there. I'll drive you home. I'll pay for your dinner. You know, we'll we'll grab something to eat afterwards on the way home if we got to. Do what you need to do to get in the room because because here's the thing. It's not about me. It's not about Ron Reynolds, although he's pretty incredible. It's not about whatever leaders come to town. They will do their job. Here's the thing. Advocare, the message of Advocare is so strong, so powerful that if you get the right person in the room, you are not going to be able to get them to stop this. You are not going to be able to stop them from moving forward with Advocare. You get the right person in the room, your job is not to get them to say yes. Your job is to get them in the room to hear what you have to say. So again, first, commit to getting yourself to every event, whether it's close by or further away. Get yourself in the room at those events. Be excited. Write out your list and invite people with a fear of loss. Man, especially Jersey crew, I'll tell you guys right now, I don't know if I'm coming back. I haven't, I'm from Jersey. I haven't been to Jersey in seven and a half years. I have no idea if I'm coming back again or not. You got to tell people that. You know, promote their income too. That's another big one. Because last month I made $55,000. Yeah, that's, I, sh I share that humbly, but here's the thing. I have some value that I'm going to be bringing to the table. If you got a, a, an Emerald leader, a Ruby leader, they got a big paycheck. They bring value to the table. Tell them that. I mean, I remember when Bob Ferngren would come to town. He, we're not even on his team, but I would tell him, listen, this guy's making $80,000 a month. You got to hear what he has to say. Just forget the AdvoCare thing. When's the last time you got to learn and hear from someone who made a million dollars a year? That's a powerful thought, a powerful question. So with that, load the rooms. Everybody in Tennessee and Jersey, I look forward to seeing you. Everybody that's got leaders all over the country doing meetings, get yourself in the room. Get your people in the room. Be excited about this. Work your list. Promote. Invite. Paint a picture of their preferred future, of better health, of better finances if they get in the room. You guys are champions. Let's have a great period close.